Today, I want to teach you a little bit about NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. The reason I want to teach you some about this is because it has the potential to change your life. I'm going to be teaching you a few techniques and tricks learned from the study of NLP that you can apply today to instantly make your life better, communicate and connect with people to a whole nother level. So what is NLP? Well, the N stands for neuro, which means your brain or your nervous system. The L stands for linguistic, also known as language. And P is programming. So that means it's the study of how your nervous system and brain reacts to language and how that effectively programs you into producing specific results. So NLP was initially founded by two guys, Richard Bandler and some guy with the last name Grinder. These two gentlemen were both high level in their respective fields and they were getting bored. So they wanted to take it to the next level and study and research those who were at the top of the top and what made them so effective and powerful as communicators. So a few things they found. Firstly, they discovered that the direction you're looking is directly correlated with what parts of the brain you're currently using. And that means depending on which direction somebody is looking, that means they're using a certain part of their brain for a specific task. If someone is looking up and to the right, that means they're creating a scenario in their imagination. Similarly, if somebody is looking up and to the left, that means they're recalling information. Additionally, if somebody is looking down, that means they're seeing how they feel in a certain situation. Why this is useful is because if you're trying to tell if somebody's lying or not, check where their eyes are going. Because if they're looking up and to the right, that means they could be crafting a new scenario. They could be lying and formulating something. However, if they look up into the other direction, that means they're recalling from the past and their memory and they're more likely telling the truth. This is just one example of the power of NLP and why it's important that you understand this and apply this to your life. Now, I don't know every specific behind this, but I highly recommend that you research it yourself. Look up the eye movements of NLP and you'll get a much more in-depth explanation as to what each of these correlations truly mean. Another powerful learning of NLP is the three ways to frame something. These are pre-framing, reframing, and deframing. So what's pre-framing? Well, pre-framing is, is exactly what I did at the start of this video. What I did is I set it up by saying, these are some tools and tricks you can use today to absolutely transform your life and the way you communicate and connect with others. So what I'm doing there is I'm pre-framing by creating a baseline and an expectation for what I'm about to tell you to set you up to best receive it. This can be used in marketing. You probably see those guys on YouTube ads who are like, hey, so what I wanna to show to you today is gonna to absolutely blow your mind. Oh my God. And so they're creating this emotion that's tying to whatever they're about to show you and setting up the expectation so that you'll best receive whatever they're selling. Secondly, reframing. This is an ability I'm sure you've heard of. Reframing is your ability to change the meaning behind events that happen. So for example, my car got recently towed. It got towed because I wasn't aware that the laws had changed in this particular lot and I wasn't told that that was the case. So my car got towed and it wasn't my fault. 
Now, after that happens, it's up to me how I frame it. I could have chose to, like most people, feel like, oh my God, fuck, my car got towed. I can't believe no one told me. This sucks, man. Like, that's so stupid. Like, oh, I'm such a victim. And I could have stuck with that and allowed that to ruin my day and run me. But I decided not to do that. What I chose to reframe this situation is I chose this frame. Wow, I'm so grateful that my car got towed because now I get to go on a nice walk and enjoy this beautiful spring weather that's now coming upon us. And what did that do? I didn't feel like crap when I went to pay the $175 to get my car back. I actually had a really nice walk and enjoyed myself. I felt very free. That is the power of reframing. Now third, we have deframing. And deframing is basically when you just destroy a frame. Like let's say somebody says like, I think Trump is making America great again great again. You could then destroy that frame by saying, Trump is the worst. He is doing all these terrible things. Look at how much of a bigot he is. Not to get too political, but you get the point. That's just absolutely destroying the frame. So while these techniques are very powerful, what's really important is the intention that you have behind it. Is your intention to use these NLP tools to best help yourself and other people and raise them up? Or is your intention to trick people and to manipulate people into doing something that you want them to do? That is why you have to be very careful in the way that you use these tools because they're so powerful. And one last powerful NLP technique that I wanna teach you today is the power of anchoring. Now what is anchoring? Anchoring is creating an association between something and a feeling. So for example, many marketing agencies use anchoring, for example, with Coke commercials. What they'll do is they'll have some crazy party, some big dance party where everybody's just having fun and enjoying themselves. And there's no, not a whole lot of context. They're kind of just dancing. Maybe there's a famous person there as well. Well, what they're doing is they're creating this really fun, energizing emotion. And then at the end of the commercial, they will associate that feeling with their brand or product by just showing the brand, doing a little mini pitch right at the end for a few seconds, effectively anchoring those positive feelings to what they want to sell you. Anchoring is something that you can use for yourself and for other people with amazing results. So this is how you might wanna do it for yourself. So if you wanna feel really, really motivated at any point, at the snap of a finger, what you can do is think back to a time when you felt really motivated. Now picture yourself, what did you look like? How are you acting? What was the tone and the quality of what you were saying. What was your internal dialogue? What was that like? Well, when you are in those high emotional states, what you can do is you can anchor that emotion to a physical action. For example, the snap of your fingers. When you're feeling that emotion at a peak state, while you're coming up on the emotion and you snap your fingers, you're tying that emotion to this physical act. What you wanna do is do that often. Create an increased frequency of that association and that anchor, which will deepen the connection. Additionally, you don't want to do the anchor when you're coming down off the emotion because that would anchor it to a decrease of that feeling. What you wanna do is you wanna anchor at while you're coming up to the peak of it. And the more you do that and the more intense the emotion is that you feel, 
the more powerful that anchor will be. So that means once you have created that anchor and you feel like you're procrastinating and you want to feel more motivated, snap your fingers and ta-da, just like that, you're going to feel way more motivated. That's the power of anchors. And you can do this for anything, any emotion, whether it's joy, whether it's love, whether it's deep connection, or whether it's peace and relaxation. You can anchor each of those emotions. It's all about the frequency and the intensity of the emotion and the anchor. So those are just a few things that I wanted to share with you that could absolutely transform your life. I hope you've learned something today from this video and I hope that you go do something now, right after this video. Try an anchor. Try that with yourself. See how it works. I've really enjoyed making this video for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, like, comment, subscribe. I want to hear from you. Let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like. I'm always looking to expand the dialogue and to keep things going. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Peace out.